Oh, hello, uh, my name is Sumia and uh, I am a third year PhD student um, at Imperial College London. My research is uh, focused on developing delivery vehicles for um, gene therapy. I'm looking into using my cells and uh, liposomes as potential delivery vehicles for genes uh, for the treatment of a variety of diseases that we can't treat with conventional medicine. Uh, my cells are generally used for the delivery of uh, small drug uh, molecules. We are look, talking here about uh, just small molecules. We sometimes with these uh, molecules, uh, they have um, lower solubility um, in the solvents that we use for that we would normally use for drug delivery. Most commonly, water, and they cannot be formulated into uh, oral solutions or into injections or into uh, the normal delivery vehicles that we use for um, drug delivery. Uh, some of these drugs also can be very toxic if they are um, ingested through the normal routes or the, if they are delivered through the normal routes, and therefore we um, encapsulate these uh, uh, drug molecules inside the uh, my cells. Uh, this will provide them, first of all, with uh, with protect them against um, in, uh, degradation uh, once they are present inside the body. And second of all, it would protect the body as well from their uh, toxic effects. Uh, liposomes are slightly bigger and therefore you could encapsulate bigger molecules inside the uh, liposomes. For example, you could encapsulate um, therapeutic peptides or proteins and enzymes and uh, um, more recently, we can also encapsulate genetic materials, um, as in nucleic acids, and deliver them to cells to um, exert some therapeutic effect. My cells are um, formed from uh, small molecules called uh, surfactants. Uh, surfactants is an abbreviation actually for surface active agents. Um, these molecules have a hydrophobic, hydrophilic head, uh, which is the water loving part of the molecule, and a hydrophilic a hydrophobic sorry, tail, which is the water hating part of the molecule. When you put these uh, molecules in water um, above a certain concentration called the critical micelle concentration, they self assemble into um, aggregates in the bulk solution with the water loving uh, heads uh, directing themselves towards the water while the tails. Um, clustering in the inner hydrophobic region inside the aggregate away from the water. Um, we can take advantage of these uh, clusters by uh, uh, solubilizing or encapsulating a, a hydrophobic, another hydrophobic molecule, in our case a drug molecule that we cannot dissolve in water and actually encapsulate it in the hydrophobic region of the um, micelles. Um, in this way we can uh, deliver these hydrophobic molecule inside the micelle um, into the uh, target cell. Surfactants can also form a, a, a different type of um, aggregates which, which are called the liposomes or uh, vesicles. Liposome is basically an, uh, consists of an aqueous core separated from the, uh, from the uh, so continuous aqueous solvent with the lipid uh, bilayer. Uh, the ability of the surfactants to form liposomes or to form micelles is very much dependent on the structure of the surfactant itself. Um, it's dependent on the structure of the polar head, the uh, nature of the tail, uh, the length of the tail. Uh, so basically these molecules arrange themselves into um, structures so as to achieve minimum energy. Similar to my cells, liposomes can also be used for uh, drug delivery. Uh, the liposome molecule you can be used to encapsulate either hydrophobic drugs in the uh, lipid bilayer or hydrophilic drugs in the um, aqueous core. Liposomes can be used in uh, are being used in two different. Uh, uh, for two different types of drugs. They can be used for the delivery of small dr drug molecules and can be used for the delivery of macromolecules as well. As far as drug molecules, small drug molecules are uh, concerned, um, some of the diseases, especially um, um, intracellular infections, where it's really hard for these drug molecules to access the disease site, uh, and sometimes it is very hard to achieve 
the uh, therapeutic concentration using um, normal means of uh, delivery. In this case, we can use liposomes to encapsulate these drugs and deliver them to the uh, intracellular infections. Um, this is particularly important because uh, liposomes, because of their structure, they tend to accumulate in the macrophages that are present in these um, uh, disease sites with um, uh, uh, quite high concentration. This is referred to as the, this is called the passive targeting. Um, so the drug molecules can be encapsulated in the liposomes, which in turn would accumulate in the um, macrophages in the infection site um, at quite high concentrations, giving us the therapeutic concentration that we need for the, to achieve um, the treatment. Uh, one very common example of the use of the liposomes for this kind of disease is tuberculosis. Uh, where the drugs were encapsulated in um, uh, liposomes uh, to treat this kind of infection. As far as the macro uh, molecules are, um, uh, cons um, are concerned, uh, peptides and uh, proteins uh, have been delivered to uh, the target site using the liposomes. Uh, one common example is the, um, is the human growth proteins. Um, in some individuals, uh, some individuals suffer from lack of these uh, uh, proteins, and therefore they have some. Um, no, they don't follow the normal growth patterns. Um, the lack of this protein can be replaced by synthetic uh, protein. Uh, we know that the proteins are very uh, sensitive to the enzymes that are present in our body, and therefore we can encapsulate this protein inside the liposome uh, to protect them from the degradative effects of. Um, the uh, different factors present in our body and uh, deliver them to the uh, patient. One of the uh, major uh, uh, uses of liposomes in current day is gene uh, therapy. We know that uh, some of the diseases are related to uh, gene dysfunctions and uh, the idea behind gene therapy is the, uh, to replace the dysfunctional gene with um, a new gene and we, this can be achieved through the delivery of what is called plasmid DNAs. These plasmid DNAs are gene sequences made in the lab and can be delivered to, to the cell and can be expressed into, the, um, into a protein that could function normally in, inside the cell. And the problem with these plasmid DNAs is that they are very prone to, the, to degradation. They are highly unstable. Our blood stream is full of enzymes that specifically target these um, uh, sequences and uh, degrade them because uh, they are recognized as foreign um, objects to the uh, body. Liposomes are, uh, can be used to encapsulate the, uh, these nucleic acids in these plasmid DNAs in the acroscore and deliver them to the target cells uh, uh, where they can carry their function. Um, liposomes can be designed to um, target specific cells as well in that you can add targeting agents on the surface of the liposomes. Uh, these targeting agents are recognized by specific cells so once you deliver these, once you um, administer these liposomes with the targeting agents, they go specifically and interact with that specific cells to deliver the plasmid DNA uh, to that target cell in that target tissue. And this way, you can uh, avoid um, toxicity and side effects of uh, these plasmid DNAs being delivered to um, other cells than the intended one. Uh, my research uses a, a different type of gene therapy. The same way you can replace a plasmid DNA or you can replace a gene, uh, you can also knock down or silence um, a dysfunctional gene. Um, this is use a technology called the RNA interference where basically you deliver small molecules called the small interference rsRNA into the cell. These small interference RNA molecules will bind to a messenger RNA inside the cell and destroy them or in, inhibit their translation into the functional protein. I, I started doing my degree in Algeria and then moved uh, to Nottingham. It was in biochemistry. Biochemistry looks more into the um, functional things. How does a protein function or how does chemical entities function? Or chemistry looks into how to make the chemical entity. Thank you.